The increasingly open trading environment built on the internet presents companies with many opportunities and challenges. Rapid response is key to generating operational efficiencies, avoiding customer churn, and providing a positive end user experience. The ability to control and monitor access to online services and enforce service level agreements is mission critical. In this open web based world, companies need to have confidence and trust in the security framework underpinning every commercial exchange. And Vordell addresses all these concerns. Our products accelerate, manage, and protect services across corporate networks and cloud computing environments to enable companies govern service usage and ensure optimized service performance. Welcome to the third in a series of Vordell screencasts. This screencast is called Security Token Service. In this screencast, we're going to learn firstly what a security token service is, then we're going to see one in action with the Vordell XML Gateway. In this example, a web service client is attempting to access the web service. It's sending a username token. However, the web service requires identity to be passed to it using SAML. An XML Gateway is used as the intermediary to insert the SAML token. The SAML token comes from a WS Trust security token service. The SAML token is requested using the WS Trust RST request security token message. Security token service issues it based on connections into identity management products, CA and Trust Oracle, Sun and so forth. It returns back an RSTR request security token response message to the XML gateway, which includes a SAML token which the XML gateway then sends in the message to the web service. Let's see how this is configured in the Fordal Policy Studio. First we're going to look at the WS Trust Security Token Service. This is configured as an item in the policy library. You can see the familiar circuit configuration in the policy studio. The message comes in, we're checking if it's WSDL. If it is, we return back the WSDL for the Security Token Service. If not, we validate the username token, then we issue a SAML token in response back to the client. As you've seen, it has a WSDL, which is a WS Trust WSDL. If we connect to it, we see the input message is request security token, RST. The response is request security token response, RSTR. The security token service is an actual web service itself with a WSDL, which is called using a SOAP message. We can use the SOAP box to connect directly to it. We send the request security token message. We're requesting in this case, a SAML token, a SAML to assertion. This is what we're requesting from the security token service, and we send that, and we see what comes back is the RSTR, the request security token response. What it's doing is based on the username token which we sent, the WS Trust security token service is returning back a request security token response. If we follow the reference, we see the URI matches up to the identifier of the SAML token which is in the SOAP header. The SAML token then includes information about the client based on the authentication that happened at the XML gateway. We see it's based on a user here called JoeUser which is the user that's referenced in the username token which we send up. So it's doing a mapping. So the WS Trust STS is happening at the Vordell gateway as a service of the gateway. Now let's look at a policy which uses the security token service. This is the familiar access stock quote request which we've used in the first two screencasts. Here we look at the policy. What it's doing is it's calling the security token service at the gateway. It's using the security token service to get a SAML assertion. Once it gets it back, it uses that to put into the request. If we look back at the diagram, we see the gateway calls out to the STS, which does authentication against the backend identity management, sends back the SAML assertion, and then the gateway inserts that SAML assertion from the STS into the request, which is sent on to the web service. Here we see this is all shown within the configuration in the policy in the policy studio. It's shown as a circuit does one thing after another, calls the STS. Here if we look at the STS calling policy, we see what it's doing is it's getting the username token from the message, creating the RST, the request security token message, sending that to the STS, 
and getting the response back. We use the username token from the incoming message to put into the RST. You can see we're setting a variable called username token. We're getting the username token using XPath on the incoming message. That get, gets put into the request that's sent down to the STS as a connection from the gateway. This is called as a policy, as a sub policy of the main demo policy here. We get the SAML assertion from the response, again using XPath. We can see with the XPath wizard what's happening is that the response comes back and then we pinpoint where the SAML assertion is in the response that comes back from the security token service. So we get that SAML assertion, then what we're going to do is inject that assertion into the message that we send on. Here we can see the add XML node which is doing what's called XML injection or XML enrichment where we're putting in the SAML assertion that we've got from the STS into the message that we send on to the web service. And we're replacing the username token which was there, that means passwords are not being sent on the wire. Let's now look at an example of the message that's sent from the web service client to the web service. Here we see within the soap box we're going to send the message through. It has the username token in it. We're going to send that to the XML gateway. And at the XML gateway that policy has been executed. It's running a request to the security token service. It then gets the SAML assertion, puts it in and sends it on to the, to the web service and then the response comes back. So here because the request to the security token service is happening as a sideways connection from the XML gateway to the STS. We don't see that here, we just see the request from the web service client response that comes back. But if we use TCP trace to see the request that goes to the web service, we can see that the XML gateway has injected in a SAML assertion. Here you see the SAML assertion that's going into the request and it was issued by the Vordal STS. So the request now is enriched with a SAML assertion which is sent to the web service. The web service can then use the information in the SAML assertion, like identity or attribute information, and use that to make a decision. So here you can see the request comes in to the gateway with no SAML assertion. The gateway gets a SAML assertion from the STS, then it injects it into the request that goes to the web service. This is an example of an STS in action and contact Vordell if you want to get the example policies. The increasingly open trading environment built on the internet presents companies with many opportunities and challenges. Rapid response is key to generating operational efficiencies, avoiding customer churn, and providing a positive end user experience. The ability to control and monitor access to online services and enforce service level agreements is mission critical. In this open web based world, companies need to have confidence and trust in the security framework underpinning every commercial exchange. And Vordell addresses all these concerns. Our products accelerate, manage and protect services across corporate networks and cloud computing environments to enable companies govern service usage and ensure optimized service performance.